Welcome to Dynamic Southwest video series. In today's video, Dwayne Wood will be going over the Power BI financial package developed by Dynamic Southwest. Today we are going to give a high level overview of the Power BI financial package by Dynamic Southwest. This package is available on several platforms, but for today's demonstration, I will be using a data set created for Dynamics Nav. The financial package comes in three parts. There's the financial data model, that's the uh, underlying um, data coming from your ERP system, and that includes um, general ledger, accounts payable, accounts receivable. There are the dashboards, which I'll review here first. Um, that These are the uh, six dashboards that come standard with the package, and there's also an Excel template for more detailed information um, and I'll review that later. So under the dashboards here, the first one is the Comprehensive Financial Optimizer. Um, this provides quick access to business metrics that are help you monitor profitability and liquidity, and you can even do a what-if analysis here. Um, things you'll see on here, performance KPIs for net sales, gross margins, um, operating profit, Activity KPIs for accounts receivable balances, accounts payable balances, cash collection cycles, uh, prop profitability KPIs for net income and return on assets, liquidity KPIs for working capital, leverage KPIs for debt ratio, debt to equity ratio, long term debt, gross margin over time, operate, operating profit over time, AR balances. Uh, AP balances and cash collection cycle over time. When I talked about the uh, what if analysis, this gives you the opportunity to say, what if we were to be increase sales by 10%? And if you see, you click on that, and it'll automatically update your numbers. I'll go back to zero to see what they actually are. The other thing you can do in Power BI is, if you'll notice, this is for three different companies. If I want to look at just one of them, I can click on that one. If I want to look at um, all of them, I just click it to release it as well. So that's the Comprehensive Financial Analyzer. Next one here is the Income Statement Dashboard. And this provides a budget versus actual report and consolidated income statement and trend analysis. You can see there's budget versus actual, year-to-date budget versus year-to-date actual, um, variance and percentage for the selected budget. And you can choose your budgets up top here. So also a consolidated income statement by company, by dimension, and that sales net income, actual versus budget versus forecast over time. Next one here is revenue and profitability. This dashboard enables organizations to drive change in the management of revenue and profitability and provides analysis of growth drivers and increases speed to insight. On here, you'll see net sales KPIs, actual versus budget over fiscal periods, gross margin gauge for net sales and gross margin, actual versus budget, net sales variance to budget by revenue lines defined in the income statement, and net sales variance to budget analysis by dimension. The Operating Expenses Dashboard provides insight to expense cost drivers and results. In here, you're going to see things like operating expenses, KPIs, actual versus budget over fiscal periods, operating gauge, gross margin, operating expenses, actual versus budget, operating expenses variance to budget by expense lines defined in the income statement, and then operating expense variance to budget analysis by dimension. The Accounts Receivable Dashboard provides key metrics combined with other information to improve the order to cash cycle time. Um, in here, you're going to see customer balances, uh, sales, cost, profit, percentage of balances. You're going to see AR balances and average days to pay over time, collection effectiveness analysis, AR invoices, count of customers and count of new customers over time and the top 10 customers by AR balance 
in their aging buckets. And finally, we have the accounts payable dashboard. It provides key metrics enabling managers to monitor the effectiveness of accounts payable workflows and the insights into how vendors or groups perform across all entities. Uh, here's you're going to see vendor balances um, for purchases, invoices, balances, and percentages. AP balance is an average days to pay over time. Payable analysis over time. <coughs> Excuse me. Employ AP invoices, count of vendors, count of new vendors over time, and top 10 vendors by balance over aging buckets. So those are the dashboards that are standard within this package. And as I said before, um, we also provide you um, an Excel template. Now you can either do that online, just like the other uh, dashboards, or you can actually pull that into Excel. And in here, I'll just give you a very high level overview. This is a KPI page, and you can see there's a lot of different uh, items that are brought into this. We have a trial balance. We have detailed trial balance, GL register, cash forecast, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, aged receivables, AR transactions. This has a, a nice calendar view, aged cash receipts, age payables, age class re cash requirements, AP transactions also with that calendar view, your GL, budgets, accounts receivable, and accounts payable. A um, lot of information in here that's available right at your fingertips. That was just a high level overview if you'd like to, any more, you can uh, contact us at cloud at dynamicsouthwest.com um, and we can arrange for a, a full demo for you. Thank you. Thank you for viewing today's video. Please like and share it with anyone you think would benefit from it. And please leave a comment if there is a specific topic you would like to see us cover in the future. You can also find us on LinkedIn as Dynamic Southwest and on Twitter as DSW Dynamics. Visit our website at dynamicsouthwest.com.